Hello everyone, my name is Heather Moorfield Lang and this is my YouTube channel Tech15. Today I'm going to be talking with you about a great video discussion tool called Flipgrid. If you are looking for a way to encourage your students to have peer-to-peer -peer discussion, if you've got students who are a little bit shy speaking up in class, if you're looking for a way to have discussion in your online classes and you're finding that chat's just not working or your discussion tools are a little bit boring and and I teach 100% online, so I understand that. Flipgrid is a great way to have discussion amongst your students using videos. And so I'm going to quickly show you how to use this. You're going to go to info.flipgrid.com, and then you've got your admin login here in the upper right-hand corner. And then this is what it looks like when you are inside Flipgrid. Now, just to give you a little bit of background about Flipgrid, Flipgrid started out as a subscription-based video discussion tool. They were completely subscription-based, and then in January of 2017, they realized they were doing so well that they were able to offer Flipgrid One. And Flipgrid One is a completely free option for those of us who are just not quite able to afford, I believe it's a $65 subscription for the professional version. And and Flipgrid One allows you to do one grid, unlimited students, unlimited questions. You can ask as many. You can also have transcripts for accessibility purposes. But there are some limits to the one. If you go to the Flipgrid site, you're going to notice a lot of different options that you can have. And you can scroll down here. You'll see that you have options for, you can see all of the prices, everything about. But here are the Flipgrid One, Flipgrid Classroom, as well as the Classroom 10-pack. You'll notice you have unlimited students, unlimited topics, unlimited responses. You can also delete a grid, do a new grid, all of those types of things. And then if you do Flipgrid Classroom, of course, you can have unlimited grids, reply to responses, fully embedded, download video responses. You have, of course, a lot more options, which is very common with your subscription-based items. But that's not a big deal because with Flipgrid One, you still have the option for full video responses, transcriptions, all different types of things. You can use this. It's completely device agnostic. You can respond on your phones. You can respond on your tablets, your Chromecasts, and all different types of things. So let me show you how to create a grid. So you'll notice I have a couple of grids already done here because I've had been using these with professional development activities. I've been using this in classes. Folks go, what would you use this for? anything you'd like to discuss. I have a friend of mine with Makerspaces. He gathers up Makerspace ideas. I've used this to collect professional development ideas after I've done a workshop. If there's something you'd like to discuss, gather ideas, online tools, plus it's really easy to share. A lot of people like to use this before a keynote or a presentation, or if you're just looking to gather ideas from a lot of different people because it's easy to embed the link. And then you can just have a discussion with a lot of different people all across the world, really user friendly when you want to embed this in Twitter or Facebook or Instagram, wherever you might like to put it. Very easy to use. So you click on new grid, these are your grid details. So I'm going to put in Tech15 because that's the name of my program right here. You've got your Flipgrid code, so you'd use this later. You can make it password protected. You can moderate the responses as to whether you would like to release them, just like a blog comment section. Notify whenever you get a new comment made, transcriptions if you would like them. You can choose grid covers. I'm going to choose this nifty one with the gal and sunglasses. And then you create your grid. And then you can add a topic to topic or two. So my topic, I'm going to say technology. One minute, 30 seconds, that's required. You can make them longer or shorter if you wish. And then my topic question, and I'm just going to go how, I'll make it pretty pat. How do you use technology in your library? I'll make it pretty easy. My topic resources, if I wanted to record anything, I can make it active, which is what I'm going to do. Likes, video views, you can freeze it if you want, you no longer want to record and then you create your topic. Here's my link. Here's how I direct people to my topic. I am ready to go. And then, as you can see, I have no responses. It is active. I am ready. Here's my Flipgrid. So if I wanted to see this, this is going to take folks directly to the actual, if you would consider, discussion board for your Flipgrid. Now, if I would like to add in a response, I click and add in a response. Typically, I will, so you see me in my office. Hello, you don't get to see me very much here on Tech 15. Uh, by the way, 
May the fourth be with you. And so I would actually record a response to my students or professional development peers or whoever I'm doing a workshop for. You hit the record button, you do your response to a question, you can start the conversation off. I do that quite often. And then when you're done, you push stop, you take a picture if you would like, or some folks don't like that. I've had people put in, you know, their cat or a coffee cup, or they leave it blank and they just, you know, kind of go over to the side. They do all sorts of stuff. It is up to you. Incredibly easy to use. You see there's step one through four. That's typically recording, taking a picture that you're done. They take you through the steps. It is incredibly easy to use both here. I am on my desktop and laptop. I've used this with phones, tablets, as well as my laptop set up here in my office. Incredibly easy to use, simple. I have seen this used everywhere K through 12 and above. So that's Flipgrid. Hope you enjoy. Remember, you've got Flipgrid One, and if you really like what you see, you have the option to even go with the subscription as well. More technology coming here in the future. Thank you for watching Tech 15. Thank you so much. Have a great day.